will rule it. Or Africa, the United Voice. You will turn a UPI. If it is African, it's a UPI. You turn it into German or Kwa. Or you turn it into German. The actual or you in a history in back. Actual or African, like I said, in a old day you were. Or you North Africa, you were Eastern side of Africa, you were Southern side of Africa, you were as on the Central and or you Western part of or you Africa. Now actual. Before now, uh, I was from over there. Uh, yeah, not inside of Africa, no. Someone has they born under several uh, military rule and other uh, other colonization. Because actually, uh, Egypt, for instance, uh, uh time now, uh, yeah, King Philip, or uh, conquer, or yeah, Greece, no. Remember, our uh, friend, uh, yeah, Alexander the Great, and also over uh, Louis, or yeah, Greek, you know, or extend it. Meantime, we should be about or Egypt. And the Egypt is over here under or here Macedonian or family. Who? The Egypt is the man now. Even here or here, maybe or here Christianity is over here. On us over here, or here the northern part of Africa. Even the Christians also work over the northern side of Africa. And now later on, after six hundred years, now the Christianity will rule over here Africa also. Or here after the inception of Islam. They bring an Islamic attack to the Burundi, ah, in the northern part of Africa. Also, to go under or here Islamic defense and rule. I'm not even the man. Later on, somewhere around the 14, 14, 17th century, they bring an or European invasion or here the southern part of Africa, ah, later on Africa. They bring an or here go under the colonial rule. I think it goes to your point, then the whole of African continent in Nano, walk away under European ruler. You need to look at the crowd. Go to your point that there were mad Russia and I had the African Europeans now who troop it into the Africa and then the Africa endowed with what a lot of resources. And then actually one reason for the Europeans coming to Africa now it was as a result of the industrial revolution now of Pro or Europe. Ah, and now. Europeans who were in search of what resources to feed their oil industries, and the upper Africa, the northern Africa, were, was endowed with what resources. So they were fighting. They were mad Russia. A man, oh yeah, got your point out. Opunya and Benin, they are all Europeans. They are all one. So they need not to fight over one another. And in the year 18, uh, 1884, 1885, Berlin Conference. Berlin Conference. Ah, at that very conference, you know, all, three, all, all resulted in the partitioning of all the African continent, and that uh, shaped all the African politics. And then the other all the African state. And then before that conference, in the Europe, somewhere 1648, the West Valley Treaty, you know, was established all the European states. Ah, you know, even all the countries. You know, before that, the very World, uh, world, religious world war, and now uh, that time uh, we were living in principalities and states, yes, yes. we, we were not having uh, between, between the Catholics and the Protestants. Yes, and in that war, uh, it, was, it was even as a result of attack on Bohemia, that's the present the Czech Republic, yes. and Oman, uh, and the war, and it lasted for 30 years, it started from 1618, and uh, ended in 1648, and that war uh, shaped the world politics. And all the normal even European countries, and from there now even that time Africa, we were no no way near other countries. I hear that time we were living in what also were like in principalities like over there, Ghana, Adi, and then there were other Ashanti kingdom, even the Fanti, Sini, other areas now they were yes we were living in nations until other the mid eighteen the friends in eighteen eighty four eighteen eighty five where uh, Berlin Conference now all the species we were. Africa, every year, every year, all year, um, very uh, countries, and actually that time soon, all year, what uh, countries, you know, European countries, you know, what they are, all year, many of the uh, countries go into all year, several European countries, all the churches, I even hear it in the Ghana, they go under the British, who are uh, and I see all year at Ghana as the official colony, actually all year Cameroon. Also, were under the French colony, and part of the colony were under the oil British colony and other countries. And all the demand, yeah, yeah, oil 
countries that started it were fight for OEM, or for uh, independence. And then before that, you know, that time you know, yeah, the Europeans you know, in the year 1690, when the uh, Africa slaves were one of uh, the Americas, that, that the new found world, and then uh, because of the main industrial revolution, they engaged in them transatlantic slave trade, that's also known as the triangular slave trade. The, the Europeans who come to Africa, they buy the slaves, send them to the uh, plantation in the new found world, that's America. When uh, after the plantation, you know, and now what they produce you know, will also be sent to Europe. For them, they will use, uh, they will fill their industries, and after them, while fill the industries, then they will bring the produce back to Africa to sell to us. And then we the time was so now, all Africans will bring more call, or yeah, they make Americans now. Once we realize that they are from Africa, some of them also started championing, they started speaking against all yeah, colonization. And that was the one of the reasons why all yeah, the main oil yeah, transatlantic slave trade program was being what abolished. Because they started speaking against all yeah, uh, the uh, trade in what slaves. And it goes to a point that Africans you know, held uh, their first major Pan African Congress in oh, yeah, 1901. Oh, ah, in 1945, the fifth Pan African Conference was held in uh, Manchester. Say, what are you? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, in Manchester, that conference is outside the of the Pan African Conference. Sebekea. That's when the only meeting the friend of our project in Manchester. And that conference, some people like Oye Marcos Gavi, William Dubois, were sitting here in attendance. And that when now championing Oye Africans from, I mean, uh, sleep to a movement in colonialism. Only no need to deny Oye Africans in the brain now over down. What started the war agitated for independence. And actually, the time of Pan of Ghana, on the super agitated for or independence in 1957, Ghana, even independence. On the eve of independence, a woman made an emphatic statement today Ghana's independence is what? Meaningless. Uh, meaningless. Or Less it's it's the total African country. Uh -huh. And on the day of Oye independence, also, he also made an emphatic statement that the, uh, the African man's what? Unite other than that uh, to uh, what do you call free ourselves from the shackles of the colonial dominance in Africa. Me now was in colonial ideal me ideas me and then you will unite all Africa. Me and get one voice at all world stage at the international stage. And he, after only independence, he tried to organize some. Oh yeah, conferences in oh, Ghana. He organized two uh, African oh, yeah, conferences for oh, yeah, Ghana. Others oh, sowed the seed for what the unification of what the African continent. And proud to the yeah, oh, yeah, formation of the organization of African unity. And oh, yeah, the African continent entirely has been divided into three blocks. And oh, yeah, the Casablanca block, oh, yeah, the Brazzaville block, and oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the Burundian block. Then the radical. Oh, yeah, the Burundian block. And that was the blocker the Nkrumah also belonged to. Do you remember? Yes. Uh -huh. And those blocks, you know, now, or you know, in 1963, or you know, May 25th, 1963, or Addis Ababa, or officially, or launching or you know, the organization of the African Unity. That meeting was shared by Emperor Hill Shalas. That he was the president or the head of state of Ethiopia at the time. And all your organization of African youth in the main objective was to what? Decolonize all your Africa and unite all your Africa uh, to get one voice or your, at all your, the world stage. Do you think it has achieved Oh, yes. In, a way or, in one way or the other. Only after the formation of the uh, Organization of African Unity. Only before the formation, now in 1960, most of the African continent, the countries, you know, has gained independence. Most especially the French uh, territories, you know, has gained independence from their colonial masters. So when they came together, you know, they, all, they were all fighting for one voice. Actually, oh yeah, that time now, oh yeah, South Africa, oh no, all practice, oh yeah, the appetite, oh yeah, system now. There was racial segregation, and they tried to, oh yeah. 
liberate most of the African continent and uh, countries to actually uh, decolonize most of the African continent. But it got to a point that most of the leaders you know, were overthrown. Yeah, well, most of the leaders of the um, organization of the African unity you know, were, were overthrown. Or you know, the purpose of African unity you know, went like went down. And so on until on the man got to a point that or your brother Muhammad Gaddafi of Libya or Sayyid say for or your, the formation of or the revamping of the organization of the African unity in the year 1991 or Abuja or the Abuja Treaty our signing for our convey here over the north they need to come together again to form another union or your African Union or to know project or another will promote the interests of the African continent in oh yeah, 1999 it was set war oh yeah, Libya it was a set declaration it was a conference oh yeah, an extraordinary conference from 8th to 9th September ah what choir what what could you tell me no there must there, there must be a need for the formation of the African Union ah on the oh yeah, 11th of July 2000 it was Lume Togo or yeah, African, uh, they were the, the, the sixth uh, extraordinary conference or yeah, organization of the African unity. They had their extraordinary conference uh, where, what you two, they, they will launch uh, of, uh, the uh, African Union uh, uh, on the 26th of May 2002. What you two will form the new African Union uh, uh, on the 11th of, uh, on the 9th of July 2002. Uh, South Africa. The were launching or the newly African Union. That was the first chairman was Tabu Mbeki. He was the then president of South Africa. Yes, are uh, currently the current president, the chairman of the African Union. Yeah, or yeah, His Excellency Felix Antonio Tshisekedi of Democratic Republic of Congo. And the main reason for the formation of uh, African Union was to unify Africa politically, socially economically through or the new partnership of african development that's the nepa ah or yeah gradually african one one way or the other they have been able to or yeah achieve their aim and they did yeah, you can colonization like said, dear, africa we are not under colonization but in terms of new colonization africa is still under new colonization do you think it's a toothless bulldog no in a way in one way or the other i can't say it is a toothless bulldog in the sense that you see Africa, Africa will not have any major problem in the sense that year in, year out, there have been political instabilities. And now, uh, actually, even in Somalia, in Toko, in the or China, in Toko, or Somalia, every other Africa, in terms of elections, you know, normal, Africa has experienced a lot of issues. Uh, or the uh, African Union you know, has been able to also. Um, mediate and bring peace into the con on the continent uh, they have at least they've done their best but not enough they have a lot to do uh so politically no then i also say africa you bet in a year you bet daily away with the total liberation of uh, neocolonialism and imperialism uh, this one right there, unless you yeah yeah or yeah leaders uh, the selfless leaders africa Leaders na yinya mono to me in one way or the other most of them right think they don't most most of them doesn't think about the people because say if they are implementing some policies uh, they just look at the policies are uh, benefit of money government you know, album will gain all political power but they don't have the political will unless we get leaders who are that political will who are ready who are selfless who are ready to i mean die for their nations mm. If you look at this, uh, John uh, Makofuli of Tanzania, right? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Um, he, he, within some few years, he has been able to transform the country. Um, but poor, poor Kigama. Rwanda. Yes, poor Kigama of uh, Rwanda. Uh, he has been able to transform his country. And we, Africa needs such leaders. You see, until until we get selfless leaders, until we get leaders who are ready. And mind you. It's not always about the leaders as well. Uh, look, we the citizens, the ordinary citizens, right now, Africans look at their own culture as inferior. As an African, we are, I mean, we are, we have thrown to the dust 
Africa yen court and crampo, you wouldn't know more for so and since you are African, um, European court, we have embraced the European culture at the expense of our own culture. Since Africa, um, the Nyanko, Olidi, Oye, like Ghanaian, Oko Choba, no, another Oko restaurant, so come there, Nyanko, Wapo Joy, Brosa, Pisicra, um, there, no, 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 like in you know we can also do it yeah uh before i started the program we were baby here we said oh yeah you ain't come on in coach uh do you think that uh president nana and the damn cook for the obama and okay said ghana beyond it do you think that uh african beyond it is uh, possible ah uh, per what i'm seeing it's not possible because since you were here ghana even Af most of African countries say prepare your never get unless we leave space for foreign uh, so, uh donor support. And mind you, elections crowd elections crowd they they have influence on us. And mind you, be a new one more that support with without a uh, having some influence conditionality. Yeah, conditionality share China for Apple China for Luna. Obama more I aware then one cast alone. Mambo or Monk of Over Barbay or your old project in a pede and the loan and the facilitating it. Look at 2008 when President Kufo and 2006 President Kufo wanted to build a stadium at Wagana when he went in for that loan from China. They gave him Sangai constructions to come and put up those infrastructure for us. They brought their even the common labor square, they brought them so Sikana over in Nano, they sent those money back to their country and it's still. Africa beyond it, I don't think it is possible within these few years until we get leaders who are who have that political will, who are ready to uh, go beyond that. Because look, His Excellency Nanado Dango Gover, I quite remember when he was in opposition, he said, Ghana, we have money, the money is here. We need no, we need not to borrow before we can manage the economy. If less for borrowing that, like on my you know, uh, honorable extra usu, more can they say borrowing in the one or the manager or money, but like an Akasa never crowd to know why I didn't know. One manager or man Ghana, but you know, or by no, how do we see things? It is the other way around that one borrow excessively. You know, so until then, I can say, I'm not your president. No, your yeah, president, but I'll bet you know, no, 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 Primary goods, ah, yeah, the core. But at least, see, you two, you produce primary goods now. You turn into the secondary sector now. And here, you very many, you ever start the manufacture things in in the country. You will turn now. You sell or Ghana or so. You know, they no go buy, go buy kufum. But but now they see, you know, against the dollar, no go slow. And the ever since they get the core for normal, but other normal, but no, 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 But here is the case as a normal, you produce or Ghana, then you talk or Ghana, and can be me sure that no go buy kufum, ma'am, and here. Standard of living is so I perform more man number better no matter until they even your leaders are over to now we take up that risk today massa say if the four years in a minute what this four years in a day and one pair and the main best pen but the main leadership on the tour I need to turn this country around until they even set leaders okay. in Africa will, will continue to be under neo colonialism fighting that I'm saying in Ghana you think uh we can win the fight. We can win the fight. On our winning this fight, you know, all balance to any political leaders. You know. The political world is the political world you know, only what we cannot win this battle. Because recently I heard it from the news that oh yeah, the national the ruling party one national women organizer crowd is engaging or you can see yeah, wash or any machines. But in that vein, you know, so ah what what they set up those no, uh, no, 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 let me correct. <laughs> she's not engaging, can I'm saying. Mm -hmm. She's engaged in mining. Okay. And I almost say mining, whether legal or illegal. Oh, okay, okay. But oh, oh, one aspect I don't bear with this current government today is setting those machines ablaze. They look up, uh, brother, everyone here in the villages, most of them. Some machines, they should operate me. No, aside those, well, to me, you know, honestly, yeah. 
another way. But I think that you, you see those machines, you will not get a in various district assemblies. If you feed the roads, maybe be, 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 Yen de mika lam see illegal mind me ya political leaders yon wana no wish she chira way because boga I mean I'll eat nine in this key do kwa koto as a simple who crassy be better de and a kwa mind me on wana yan o wasika foreigners Chinese will be one and one of one won't go you crassy yen chiefs yen chiefs so yen traditional leaders they are part of those galam see those illegal mind me those lands no land and yon wana won you on wana we issue those mining sites and the more Chinese and more about and see it's a high time on here. The leaders, political leaders, you know, will give up. I will be ready. In summary, uh, we work on history, work on the beer, everything. Then I'll be to your credit card for. Um, O A U, Obe. A U, Obe, not the wild boy or your Africa, but they have more to do. And I don't mind in Canada today. But me, mom, dear, in my opinion, dear, A U, dear, the most useless organization in your world, yes. Say, A, ultimate town, palm, a cool, Kenel Muhammad Gaddafi, the art, and the A, you need here, and Fasubian is a bear, you Yes, Muhammad Gaddafi, you need to know. I don't make Africans, you know. I have to say, you collaborated with you. Yes, and Boga, train them Africa for you. I have to say, you win your money for day. Like, we have the capacities to do something. But let me tell you this, yeah. What greatest leader in India has visited Africa once? Look, Jesus Christ, ah, all, all the Christianity baby, I say, what one crowd that, that time Herod wanted to kill Jesus Christ. That time, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, came to Africa. Uh, we didn't go to one in Africa. My mom inquired too. Jesus Christ is himself in the Christ in Africa. Uh, I know, as to whether he's an African or yes, he, 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 he came to Africa. Moses was born in Africa. Actually, oh yeah, Muhammad, Muhammad, like I said, he go to a point that. When he started Islam, a warrior Arab, they wanted to kill him. And he seek refuge a warrior Abyssinia. That time you had earlier Christian King, you found the King Nibus. And the first person to call Azan in Oyer Islam was an African Bilal. He was from Ethiopia, Abyssinia, Ethiopia. And Africa has contributed much in terms of even Christianity. Because actually, Oyer Acts chapter 2, verse 29. Ah, Oyer. That day now the Holy Spirit, the outpour of the Holy Spirit now, all your Christianity even evolved that day. There were African countries over there. We have Egypt and Libya. Even on Jesus Christ on his way to or Golgotha where he was crucified. You know, you go to a point and they cross and was being carried. He was uh, an African was being forced to carry Jesus Christ's cross. Yes. Um, so actually, or yeah, I am Buddha, the uh uh Buddha uh, Buddha. Yes, or no the or yeah, Buddhism. Uh, what do you call uh, yeah, Buddhism. Buddhism or the man. He also visited Africa. Socrates visited Africa. Herodotus, the father of history, visited Egypt. That's why he made this assertion that Egypt is now and now is Egypt. So you can see that Africa has a lot, but it seems we don't cherish our own. It's hard time where Africans cry. You better cherish on our own. The greatest leaders of Africa. We have had an African. Who, we have two Africans who have ruled this world. That's Butros Butros, Gali of Egypt, he was once the general secretary of yes. United yes. Nations. Kofi Annan of our own. He has also ruled the whole world. Even Obama. Obama. He's an African. Most of ah, So who says that Africans cannot do something better? We can do something. Unless we also believe in ourselves. Africans should believe in ourselves. And I, I think if we believe in ourselves, we believe in our own. We don't, we support our own. We don't kill our own. African will be great. Yeah, therefore. Uh, African Union, and I say, Oh, you uh, send your client fast for buy any own sense and a Bulgaria TV and your Bremui and Che, Mobesanti and Kabim. Kaisa on Telegram, a eh, Bulgaria Judo, and I say, Blind Bulgaria on Telegram. Me picture be annual, picture be annual, but me or Telegram. But you be a own, will be so with me picture to a Yemia, me picture be annual. A eh, Bulgaria Judo, and I say, Blind Bulgaria. What's up? Uh, 0245 And I say 0243 931 365. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook at Facebook. 
YouTube and your Bulgaria TV. Mo subscribe when I'm with you. We now, Oma Bai, and I'm with you.